one of the best ways of learning is just by doing, right? Trying to figure stuff out. And so I think we can teach some principles by just going through an example together. And so we're going to learn by doing, by writing a game of Hangman, which most kids know, in uh, C Sharp. And so let's go ahead and open it up. Don't mind the cockatoo that's staring into your soul. Let's open up Visual Studio and we'll create a new project and uh, choose a console app in C Sharp. And then we'll name this one Hangman Fun. All right, I'm gonna place the solution in the project in the same directory. Next, choose .NET 8 and then click create, which will create our little app for us. All right, so we'll start out by um, not signing in, <laughs> and then we'll delete those lines that are already in there. And um, as I think about writing this game, it's always good to just kind of map it out first. So I like to say, uh, just, just write a little uh, code out. Now this I'm going to pretend is being done in a team. And so we're going to have two different programming teams that are going to work on this. And the advantages of that again are that we can work at the same time. So part of the team can go work on one aspect of the program. Another part of the team can go work on the other part of the program. They can do it at the same time and they bring it all together in the end. This is how we get massive projects done in a relatively short amount of time is by working in teams and breaking it up so that each individual can work on their thing. And so as I think about the tasks that need to happen, let's just go through together. Let's think about in a, hang, a game of hangman, what needs to happen? And so first of all, somebody's got to think of a word. Okay, make this font a little bit bigger. So, so we need to think of a word, okay? In our case, it's gonna be get a random word, right? And then we need to get the guess from the player, okay? And so we get the guess from the player. Um, what other tasks need to happen in the game? We need to check to see if the guess is valid, right? Valid meaning, you know, not a number, uh, only one letter, uh, hasn't been guessed before, okay? So we need to make sure that it's a valid guess. Um, if, you know, if they've already guessed that letter, we're not going to have them guess again. Um, or if it's just invalid input in our case. Um, what else do we need to do? Uh, once the we, we know the guess is valid, then what do we need to do? We need to uh, check to see if the letter is in the word. Okay. Um, and so does it match uh, if it does we need to um, update the word from the blanks to actual letters right if it does not then we need to uh, keep track of uh, how many missed guesses and in Hangman, you get the head, the body, the two arms, and the two legs. And so you get six uh, total guess that's wrong guesses, right? I don't know if we'll actually draw out. We could, but I don't know that we will in this example for the sake of time to draw out the actual Hangman. But we get the, the six guesses. Um, what else do we need? Um, you know, we'll need to let them know if they've won or lost. Um, anything else you can think of? Um, you know, just the, 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 there's the general flow of the game that we need to kind of keep track of, you know, loops to, to keep doing it for a certain amount and everything. So I'll just say game flow. 
Um, anyway, so, so I think that's probably good. And so we get into a situation where we're with a team, we say, how do we divide this up? And what are some easy ways to divide it up? And so, uh, you know, if I, if I write it, kind of team one is gonna control the main <laughs> uh, program. And team two is going to create some tools for us to be able to use from the main program. And we just try to kind of split this up evenly. Now I'm making this up as I go along, but um, you know, I, I think it makes sense for the main one to keep track of the game flow. So we can do game flow. Um, and maybe a good way to approach this is what are some good things that we can do in terms of tools as we look at this list? What could we have uh, the second team do while the first team kind of controls that game flow? And I think we could have them as we look at this list, I think we could have uh, team two uh, generate a random word, okay? Uh, get the guess from the player, that probably is part of the game flow, so get guess from the player. Um, validating the data, that seems like something we could probably split up here and say uh, validate the guess can be one of the things that the second team can do. Um, let's see, what's next? Check to see if the letter is in the word um, so I think that's easy enough. We'll see as we get in and do the program, I'm kind of thinking ahead that that's easy enough, I think, for uh, to implement in this main method. So uh, check to see if the letter is in the word. And then, um, you know, this, this idea of um, if it is, then we, so, so this falls into the game flow, but I think in terms of updating the word, we could have the second team work on, you know, going and putting the letters where they're supposed to be, and then um, sending back that word that's updated. And so I'm gonna call this update the word. Um, and then uh, we gotta, here we gotta keep track of guesses which I think kind of makes sense in this flow of the game. Um, and then, you know, let them know if they've won or lost. And that all seems pretty good to me. And so then as we get in and actually look at, um, you know, how do we work together as a team, we're going to go separately and work on it at the same time. So how do I know what you're going to call your methods and so what we work on then is just together, we kind of determine method signatures. And so we say, okay, so you're gonna create a, uh, you're gonna generate a random word. So I'm gonna create a, uh, just a method signature. So I'll call this generate a random word. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna build a method signature. So it's gonna be a public method. What, do we, what are we gonna return from the method when it's all done? It's going to be a word, right? So it's going to be a string. And uh, what do we want to call the method? Well, I'll call it get random word. All right, very descriptive. And then what do you need from me if I'm going to be uh, calling this method in order to be able to generate a random word? And the answer is nothing, right? I just want you to get a random word for me. And so we'll just put blank parentheses. And so now we have a, a method signature that we can both work with. Um, it's a public method returning a string called get random word that it does not need anything passed in, right? And if we kind of take that same approach, validate the guess and um, update the word. And we talk together as a, as a team and say, what do you need from me to be able to do this? And what are you going to return? And um, anyway, we don't have time in this video because we're almost hitting our 10 minute mark. But um, let's go ahead and stop there and continue on in the next video. Spencer out.